Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another video on the 2020 Chevrolet Silverado. And this might not be just for this model Silverado. This might be the case for any Silverado or any truck for that matter. So I wanted to talk about LED bulbs and something to know before you start doing this. So let's start at the front and then we're gonna work our way to the back. All right, so if you haven't watched any videos that I've done, especially on this truck, Chevrolet put almost all LED bulbs throughout this entire truck, but they didn't do all of them, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but they did. All right, so I went on and all of the halogen bulbs they still had in this truck, if they blinked or if they were for seeing in any way, I wanted to go ahead and change them to LED. There are two bulbs, or well, four bulbs. This one right here, which is a... Uh, just a marker or running light that is on when this LED strip is on just if the truck is in gear that comes on one on each side And then if we go to the back You've got another one right here, which if you're if it's dark outside and your lights are on that's on on both sides Both of those I left for the halogen bulbs, but everything else has LED in it now uh, and I did do a video on installing all these, so if you're interested in that, I'll try to put a link down in the description or it might be up here somewhere. Uh, so I did change this out to LED bulbs, no problem. Change that out. And then on the back, I did change the reverse lights because they, uh, putting LEDs in this pretty much in any application is very, very good. It's a whole lot brighter than the regular halogen bulbs. And then I replace the uh, license plate bulbs as LED. And then I did do all of those in a video, but one thing that I did not put in that video because I did it at a later time is there's a bulb right here and a bulb right here, which is brake lights and turn signals. Now, now before I put those in, I had just put in the uh, front turn signals, the reverse lights, and the reverse license, not the reverse, the back license plate lights. I did those three lights and didn't have an issue, perfectly fine. Then when I put the uh, tail light bulbs in, there's two on each side for brake light and turn signals, I started having issues. But when I say issues, it, it's not a real bad thing. I mean, they all work, but we're going to talk about it. So let's go ahead and get in the truck and start it. Okay, so didn't have any issues, and then when I pl uh, put the uh, tail light bulbs in, what goes on is once I put those in, they work fine, everything works fine. But when you put your signal on, left and right, it gives you uh, an alarm on the screen here. Right, right there, there's nothing, that screen, there's nothing on there now because I haven't started it. But like you'll get uh, alarms like plug your seat belt up and check your back seat for your kids if you can't remember your kids. Uh, so you get alarms like that on there. So when you turn your signal left or right, you get an alarm there that is a bulb failure or something. Let's go ahead and start this. Yes, we know. I got to change the oil. Let's turn this off. Is this going to come on? There we go, muted. All right. So uh, perfectly until I put the uh, tail light bulbs in there. Then if we turn right, there it is. You get that right rear turn indicator failure. And the same for the left. Left rear turn indicator failure. So I've got the left turn signal on now. And it does give you that alarm, but like I said, there's nothing wrong with it other than it gives you that alarm. So if we come around here to the front, see that's still going. And then that's doing that. 
and since I put these in, they do blink faster than normal, or faster than they did before I put those in. So, uh, it is something to think about if that alarm, every time you put your signal on, is going to bug you. Uh, I'd put all of, you can put all of the LED bulbs in that I did, except for the uh, taillight bulbs, apparently. And it might just be that that was the last one I plugged up. If you do those and not do the front ones, you might not have an issue. I don't know. I haven't tried that. But as soon as I put those taillight bulbs in, that's when it started giving me uh, the alarm. So if that alarm is really going to bug you, I'd and if you want to do the whole led bulb thing you could do if you have this truck but it's probably that way for all trucks i don't know the front signals and the license plate lights and the reverse lights should have an issue with that but as soon as you put those tail light bulbs in you're going to get this alarm and i mean for me it doesn't it sucked that it did it but for me it doesn't really bother me because i mean there's nothing wrong it blinks a little faster. I'm sure it's with some kind of electronic thing with it being LED. I don't know. I'm not an electrician or anything. But you are going to get the alarm, and it is going to blink faster. If that's going to bug you, don't put the taillight LED bulbs in. So that is one thing to think about if you're planning on doing the whole LED bulb conversion, especially on this truck. Like I said, might be the same on other trucks. Might not. I, I don't know. But. Uh, the, and I, I had a Ford F-150, a 2010 Ford F-150 before I... Uh, got this truck. I didn't do anything like that in that truck, so I don't know. So, but as far as this truck goes, I would imagine it'd be the same for all trucks, but I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know. So, if, like I said, if that's going to bug you, don't put the tail light bulbs in. And you can try just putting the tail light bulbs in and nothing else, see if it does it. I don't know if that'll work or not, but it is one thing to think about. It happened to me, so I did want to uh, tell you guys to let you know that that happens so if you wanted to do every all the bulbs that i put especially in this truck that is one thing to think about that might bug you so yeah let's turn the sky off so i did want to do this video that you need to watch this before you plan on putting bulbs LED bulbs in your truck or car. It might be the same. I don't know. It might be different. Uh, but it is something to think about that might irritate a lot of people. I mean, it, it did irritate me a little bit, but it's not that big. Everything works. And when something else that I forgot to mention, after I put these uh, the taillight bulbs in, when I press the brake, they, came, they come on and work fine and I don't get an alarm. The only time I get an alarm is when I put my signal on. So I don't know if you're an uh, electrician or work on electronics on cars or trucks, you might know what's going on. Or if I could do something that would do away with this whole issue, which isn't really an issue. It's just, you know, something that might irritate some people. But I'm glad y'all tuned in. Let me know your thoughts on this. If you've tried this, if you've had this happen, or if you know how to fix it, if you can do all of these LED bulbs and excuse me, not have this issue. If you know how to fix it, be sure and let everybody know down in the comment section below. Hey guys, did want to take a second and obviously this uh, video clip is uh, further in the future than the video you're actually watching right now. So I did film the video and then before I started putting this video together, I had a person on the YouTube channel get in touch with me and had the this problem. And I had already filmed this video and was talking about this problem, but, and I haven't tested this, so I don't know 100% or not, but there are LED bulbs. It's the 7440, which is the bulbs that we're talking about uh, from Oxilum, O-X-I-L-A-M, I think. Uh, but supposedly you can get these type of bulbs and maybe another bulb, I don't know, but these ones should do away with that hyper flash issue that we're having. And I did use those two in the front, the front turn signals, but when I got the back 
I think I went with a different brand because I needed four and I got four in a pack for a cheaper price. So I just went with that. So I uh, did want to point that out. Like I said, I have not tested this. This is what I've heard. Uh, so probably sometime in the future, I might go ahead and get uh, four more of the same two that I put in the front and put them in the back and see if that does away with it. Uh, if and when I end up doing that, I will post uh, another video up on the channel to say, yeah, it did work. This is how you do away with hyper flash. So uh, yeah, guys, just wanted to throw that out there. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, be sure to get subscribed to the channel. Check out all the other videos on my channel. I do a ton of different stuff on the channel. Uh, I try not to stay towards one thing. It's just all I have projects going on all the time and I just do videos on the different projects I do. I have done a lot of other videos on that truck. So if you're interested in the truck and some of the upgrades I've done, be sure to check that out. Uh, so be sure to get subscribed to the channel. Check out all the other videos, and I'll see you guys next time. See you.